Libra, hi, welcome back, and welcome to your energetic weather forecast for October 30th to November 5th. Let's have a look at your um, creative, uh, young energy, the fiery solar energy that uh, helps you to be creative, to create wonderful things in your life if you let it. The King of Wands. So this is an Aries energy. Um, we may find ourselves in leadership roles. We may find ourselves um, managing situations. And we are certainly uh, pioneering energy this week. You may wear your heart on your sleeve which is not really an Aries, well, is it? Yes, I think it is. I think an Aries is quite bold where love is concerned. Now, I was going to say you wear your heart on your sleeve, so you may be making some declarations. Interesting, Libra. Um, romantically. Odd, I don't usually get that energy but or that information, but there it is. All right, let's keep going and see what the whole week brings us and we can put it all together then. But yeah, I do feel a very energetic uh, beginning to the week. Um, you may have some really fantastic new ideas that other people have not thought about yet um, because that's Aries. That's the pioneering energy. And you could also be dealing with the King of Cups as well, but this is your energy, so... I kind of like to keep it in that same realm. Um, Ace of Cups for your emotional yin energy, your magnetic energy. And this is perfect for this, um, for your emotions or for the yin energy because um, it is the womb or the form that, um, that the mm, electric energy fills. So you have that uh, electric outgoing energy of the uh, yang energy, and the yin is the more magnetic um, form that that energy can fill. I feel definitely that there is um, inspirational energy. You can feel really inspired, especially with the king of wands next to you. There can be some ideas that just come in from out of the blue, but it's not from out of the blue. It's from your your source, whatever that may be, whether that's your internal spiritual source, an external um, religious source, um, people who inspire you, music that inspires you, but there is a really um, interesting inspirational energy that I feel coming from this. It feels really good, and I get, so I am getting, I get, um, Whenever spirit comes close to me, because I do mediumship work, I get a sort of a tingle on my right shoulder, and I am feeling that right now. So I am feeling like spirit's pretty close to you, and you are being inspired, and you are being shown a lot of love. Um, and I do think there is this new offer of love, and whether that's coming from you or to you, it feels like it's there for me. Um, and something has grown the the um, lotuses are really popping out. So something has grown from something that was maybe murky or muddy or not. It just, I don't want to say it. It, it. it comes from deep, I want to say. Um, also, I want to say with this that nutrients are very important. So make sure you're getting um, proper nutrition. We'll look back on that in a minute, but I do have that feeling as well. Um, but yeah, a really nice, emotional, warm energy, especially with the King of Wands energy, that really fiery, it's almost like, um, it would be kind of like, if you were to compare different waters, it would be like those hot springs. So there's a real nutritious feeling with this water, like a real healing kind of, and it's hard to explain, but I think that's where I'm going to leave it. For now, how you are, the actions that you're taking and what you're thinking is the Three of Swords. So by the end of the week, 
Um, you know, a lot of people are getting this card. There's a lot of signs that are getting this card this time around. So I don't know if there's going to be a big weather change towards the end of the week. Um, we could start getting more dismal weather or the clouds can set in or it starts to get a rainy period. And it can also be this change of the seasons. I think a lot of people, when the sun starts to wane or, you know, we have shorter days, then... I don't know, our enthusiasm also drops or, you know, even our energy level can drop. And certainly our mind can find more difficulty, I, I assume, I think. I know I can if it's too too long without sun. There is this um, idea of separation with the Three of Swords, but I don't know if I feel that with the first two cards. So let's go further and have a look to see everything, and then we will um, clarify that Three of Swords. I don't know if you have sinus troubles, um, or maybe one or a couple of people who are listening might have that, and um, that could be plaguing you at the moment. So as a physical energy your finances and your physical well-being. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Couldn't be better. This is my Queen of Pentacles card. She gets what she wants. That's all there is to it with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, that depends on what you want. So if you're looking to um, heal your sinuses, your cold or whatever might be ailing you, uh, you can find alternative ways to do that alternate, because she's the kind of new age healer um, card for me. Um, but it can be doctors and nurses, you know, it can be Western, Eastern, doesn't matter. But I do feel like there are some healing plants that can help. I'll put it that way. Um, also, I think you can be very focused this week. And especially towards the end of the week, I feel you can be really focused. Um, whatever it is that you want to... Um, get ready or to plant or to uh, accomplish, I think you will by the end of the week. Um, it's almost like, and I'm going to say, if you know how new love kind of gets you a little bit excited and your mind gets racy and that's all you can think of, and it's almost like you kind of need to separate from that energy so you can get stuff done. <laughs> that's kind of what I'm feeling here. So I don't know if that's very specific to one person or all Librans are feeling that, but I definitely picked that up. And it's still this um, sinal thing, I, sinuses for some reason. All right, and now let's look at your um, overall spiritual energy. You have the world. So there are um, situations that are coming to a close. It's kind of like graduation, the world. And... Um, there are just little things that you need to do before you move on to your next uh, project or next level or next situation. Um, there can also be, I'm going to say, some things you need to clear up on a romantic level, um, like things that have maybe hurt you in the past uh, regarding relationships need to find healing because the Three of Swords is the healing from a broken heart. And maybe before you move into this new area of love or this new person who may be coming in, you need to kind of um, find some time to uh, heal from uh, past hurts and past separations and past situations that have um, kind of blocked you from opening up to new love because this feels very, like I said, a heart on the sleeve. Maybe somebody's coming in really um, declaring their, their love for you or their interest in you. And I think you're open to it, but then you remember, oh yeah, what happened the last time and I'm not sure I want to go. So it's really this concentrated energy where you're like, I'm not sure, I don't know. And those are the blocks that you can be having right now. Um, the Aquarius card comes forward so it could be a light-haired individual but I do feel like um, there is an individual around who um, who may be declaring their 
feelings for you. Or you could be doing that with them. But still, there's this feeling of, I've been hurt in the past. Do I really want to do this again? Let's heal that up first, is my feeling. Um, and it's funny because even these little ribbons are sort of acting like um, band-aids for me. And it's kind of like the wounds are healed. You just have to take the bandage off. Maybe it's been a long time now or something like that. But um, those are the things that keep you in, uh, keep you bound. So let's have a look at the Three of Swords. And let's get clarity on that. Seven of Swords. Yeah. Could be things... Um, going on behind the scenes or things that have gone on behind the, th the scenes. It's kind of like um, things that you found out about too late or things that you didn't know. And uh, once you did, it was, it was quite uh, difficult to take. And, you know, there were some wounds there with the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is my tricky card. So with the Three of Swords there, somebody could have messed around too much or... Yeah, it could have even been somebody who um, was not, there was some infidelity, that kind of energy, especially with the Three of Swords, that's often a third party. And I'm not saying that's what's happening now with this person. I'm saying it's possible that it happened in the past, and you just don't want it to happen again. And that's understandable. And the Queen of Pentacles, I mean, Aquarius... Uh, is won't take any nonsense from anybody. <laughs> they just won't. They'll cut them off immediately. All right, so I'm going to do a quick spiritual guidance card before my battery runs out here. Nine of Wands. Um, yep, you're on the defensive. You're ready for something difficult to happen. And if you're not careful, it will. You will make it happen. This is the walking wounded card. And so those things need to be cleared up. And I think that's maybe what you'll be busy with. I hope this has been helpful. I will be back in a week for uh, another reading uh, with the moon, a lunar cycle reading. Uh, if this has been helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps the algorithm. It helps me. It helps the channel. And it's a nice exchange of energy. And it's very much appreciated. Thank you. Have a good week.